This is the X-Tool P2. It packs quite a punch thanks to its 55W CO2 laser. Out of the box the P2 is pre-assembled and almost ready to run. But before firing up the laser I need to remove the rear cover and mix the included antifreeze with demineralized water. Yes, this laser is powerful enough to require water cooling. After filling the water reservoir and purging the system, the rear cover is reinstalled. Powering up the machine, the P2 homes the X and Y axes. The laser beam is reflected from several mirrors around the machine. Before I can use the laser, I need to check the mirrors are lined up correctly by covering the beam path with masking tape and pulsing the laser briefly. Then I can check the witness mark left behind and adjust the mirrors accordingly until the beam is centered. With that done, the laser is now ready to use. The work area is illuminated by LED lighting. This is useful for viewing work progress and more importantly, to illuminate the work area for the built-in cameras. The first camera is wide angle and captures the entire work area. To use it, simply place your material inside the work area, then connect the P2 using the Xtool Creative Space software on your computer. Once connected, the wide angle camera will capture a photo of the work area. This makes it super easy and fast to line up your projects with your material for cutting or engraving. In some instances, the wide angle camera distorts the perspective of the material, making it difficult to line everything up. However, the second camera is for precision work and is mounted to the carriage and it gives you perfect top-down view of the material, allowing you to precisely locate your project with the workpiece. Oh, and did I mention this is a three-axis laser? Yep, that's right, this laser can do 3D engraving on curved surfaces, although I'll save that feature for a future video. The 55 watt CO2 laser easily cuts through this 10mm acrylic in a single pass. And check out the quality of the cuts. The cut finish is good enough to easily read the ruler markings through two cut edges of this acrylic. The work area is also highly versatile with the option to install slats as close or as far apart as each job requires. The P2 also comes with four clips which securely hold the material in place during operations. Xtool Creative Space Software comes with a fairly comprehensive list of material presets for speeds and feeds. Here's a quick rundown of setting up an operation. First I'll select my material as 3mm white acrylic. Next I'll select layer 1 and program it as a cut layer. Then I'll select layer 2 and program it as a score layer. I can then tweak the laser power or speed as needed. However I've found the factory presets to work well so I'll leave them alone. Then I can send the job to the P2. Then it's as simple as pushing a button and watching the machine do the work. Out of the box the P2 can manage materials up to 71mm thick. However, with the addition of the riser base, this allows you to set the tray at several heights allowing you to process objects up to 215mm thick. Additionally, the riser base allows you to add a fourth axis for rotary engraving on cylinder objects.
This image of a hummingbird took around 26 minutes to complete, and the level of detail is truly outstanding. I also highly recommend purchasing the X-Tool Smoke Purifier. This is an impressively low noise dust and smoke extraction system that connects to the outlet of the P2. And it filters out 99.97% of 0.3 micrometer particles, leaving your workspace clean and easy to breathe in. Although the P2 cannot engrave on clean metal, it does an excellent job of engraving coated, painted, powder coat or anodized surfaces. Here I'm making a sign from 3mm thick aluminium which has been spray painted matte black. This paint left behind quite a bit of soot after engraving, which was difficult to clean off. However, after cleaning, the end result looks great. Working with anodized aluminium such as this blank metal business card is much easier, since there is almost no soot residue after engraving. So far we've discussed the good points of the P2, but are there any bad points? Well, so far the only bad point I've found is when using the rotary engraving accessory, the distortion of the wide angle camera makes it challenging to line up your project onto the cylinder. The walkaround for this issue is to take multiple images using the precision camera, so ultimately this isn't a deal breaker, but it just feels a little clumsy to use. But at this point of the video, I hear you asking, Amon, not too long ago you reviewed the 48 watt IKEA laser machine, which comes in at about one third the cost of the P2 that's behind you. How on earth could you justify the extra cost of the P2? Well, that is a perfectly reasonable question to ask. And to answer it, I wanna show you this. This is a wet film thickness gauge. It is a measuring tool that measures the film thickness of membrane applied products during construction. What you do is you paint the membrane product on the floor or the wall, and then you come along with the comb and press it into the wet film which hasn't dried yet. You pull it away and then you can see which of these teeth on the comb is made contact with the membrane and then you know how thick the membrane has been applied. So of course, this product needs to be quite precise in order to be trusted. So we're going to cut two of these out, one on the P2, one on the IKEA, and compare them. To be as fair as possible to both machines, the film gauges were cut from the same sheet of 3mm black acrylic. To make it impossible to confuse the two samples, the gauge cut on the X-Tool is labelled X-Tool P2. Now it was time for the IKEA to cut a gauge. Comparing the two samples side by side, the engraving quality is similar, although the P2 looks cleaner in my opinion. However, the real difference is in the cut quality. The cuts made by the P2 are very smooth and clean while the IKEA is quite rough. But this roughness is more than superficial. Measuring the front side of the 300 micron tooth on the gauge proves to be close enough. However, measuring the back side of the tooth measures around 410 microns or thereabouts. This level of accuracy might be fine for craft projects. However, for manufacturing measuring devices like this film gauge, the cheaper diode machine simply isn't up for the task. 
Now of course around the home there is limited applications for a wet film thickness gauge but how I like to use mine is every morning I use it to check that I have applied the correct amount of peanut butter to my toast. You gotta love that ratio. Tastes like 900 microns, thereabouts. Currently Xtool have a rewards promotion. If you own an open frame laser machine, simply tell them why you'd like to buy a new enclosed machine and provide proof of purchase. Then you'll receive a discount code to purchase a new enclosed laser machine. In conclusion, the P2 offers an impressive and highly capable package for in-house manufacturing or starting a laser cutting and engraving service. The enclosure means it's safe to operate without the need for safety glasses and managing smoke and dust extraction is simple. Plus the ability to automatically measure material thickness with a click of a mouse as well as the dual camera setup makes the P2 a pleasure to use. The software is also intuitive to use and yes the P2 is also compatible with Lightburn software although at the time of making this video not all of the P2's features are supported by Lightburn, so you'll probably want to stick with Xtool's own software to get the best user experience. Overall, I highly recommend the Xtool P2, and if you appreciate the video, I'd be grateful if you gave the video a like, and if you want to buy the P2 for yourself, you can support my channel by using the affiliate link in the video's description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.